Hey, welcome to another Emacs Goodies video. And today we're going to talk about a little package that I actually found useful when I first saw it. I didn't think I would, but hey, that's how it is. And that package is called WebJump. So WebJump pretty much is similar to a Melpo package called Engine Mode. And if you don't know what that is, I'll break it down. Essentially, both of these is a quick shortcut to access certain browsers or websites. Uh, not browsers but websites and you can make it so that either it opens up an external browser chrome firefox or you can use emacs's built-in web browser so you can set it up however you want but essentially that's what it does it's a shortcut to give you access to those sites and of course you can put some type of query in there so that you can query google or dr go or any documentation that you're looking for so enough talk, let me show you. Let's jump into my readme because I have something. So web jump, there we go. So let me zoom in and let me look at the configuration. So the package is called web jump, just like I mentioned, I'm deferring it, um, just making, this is just lazy loading. I don't need to ensure that it's installed because it's already in the Emacs package and I'm binding it to control X slash which is the recommended key binding as well for engine mode. But I just use this uh, control X slash because I figured I might as well use it since it's the same thing. All right, anyways, I'm making a few configurations here. So the thing that I really like about web jump over engine mode is that it has a little few extra things that you can do. For example, in the web jump sites, this is just a list of sites that you can configure it. It's, a, it's just a bunch of uh, list association lists. It's a list of association lists. Yeah, that's a mouthful. But anyways, you can set it right here. So when I run this, uh, let me actually show you. So I'm going to do meta x, oh, actually control x slash. And then it says web jump to site. And I can just decide where I want to jump. For example, if I want to go on Google, it's going to, on the mini buffer, it's going to say Google query, and then I can input query. And then once I press enter, it will redirect me to Google in whatever browser I have set up. So that's awesome and dandy, but also there's some other options. So for example, for GNU project archive, if I do GNU right here, as you can see in that little pop-up buffer, if I press enter, it's going to show two things. It's not just going to jump to the GNU project. It's actually going to show me a selection of websites to go. It's going to say, hey, there's two mirrors, actually. Do you want to go to this one or to this one? So let me show you. Uh, uh, what is this? GNU project. So yep, you see? GNU project archive mirror. So it's telling me, hey, which mirror do you want to use? That's pretty cool. That's actually handy. If you wanted to do this with engine mode, you would have had to explicitly define two different um, engine classes, I guess you can say, to have that same effect. And this one, you just pass it a list and say, hey, this is a mirror, this is a mirror list, and then Emacs knows what to do, which is pretty awesome. And then we have the basic one, like this one, Emacs website is just, it's just the title and then the direct URL to take you. Nothing fancy, it just takes you there. The Emacs wiki, this is kind of the same as the Google one. This is how you would do it. So it, it's a simple query. It says, hey, this uh, you pass in three strings. The first string is if when it prompts you for a query and you don't want to put any query, it defaults to an empty string and says when Emacs sees that it's an empty string, it's going to use this one. So we'll use this one when you do not put any input, any prompt. But if you do type a prompt, it's going to say, all right, the user wants to search for something, have a query. So I'm going to paste this. And then after this, it's going to insert the query and then this is going to be whatever after. So it's a bit odd how they're doing it. You can think of it as this, uh, as a percent %s, and then whatever is left. But since this is an empty string, this is just going to look like uh, this. But you can think of it as that way. So for example, if on DuckDuckGo, right here, I have another simple query. I say, if they don't specify, just go to DuckDuckGo website homepage. If they do specify, do the query. And then this, this would be useful, for example, if you have, have more stuff like dude, like uh, tracking equals one, two, three, and things like that, but you want the query to go in front. So that would, that's what you would use it for. But for most things, this is just gonna be very basic and just like that. So instead of, do, instead of just adding a mirrors and simple queries and just a direct link, you can also pass in functions that will do certain things when, when you choose that website. So I'll show this in a second, but I also want to talk about this. You can only have other type of links. For example, this is an FTP link, not just an HTTPS. So that's pretty cool. And I also have another one right here, risks digest, so things like that. 
So uh, let me show you what the national weather does. So national, oops, uh, national weather. I press enter, and then some other stuff over here passes, like a bunch of list of states. So that's pretty cool. I'm not going to click on them because it will redirect me, but I'll show you right now. So for example, if we go to HF, web jump to iWin, we get see this definition, and it says right here. So name is just going to be, I believe, the query that you're passing in, and then it's going to do a bunch of stuff right here operation so you can have a custom function that does whatever it needs it to do and then spits out some type of URL or something to do the trick but that is essentially how you can use a custom function the documentation for web jump sites if we look at it will give you a lot more details on how to do everything for example it has the simple query the mirrors like we mentioned and also of course right here the simple of uh, functions if the function and things like that So that's a pretty much a quick summary. You can also look at the how it's implemented. It's a pretty short, there's pretty short file, about 400. Most of it is just handling URLs and things like that, certain certain scenarios. And there are two custom variables. Uh, in, use internal browser, so that means use Emacs built-in, and then of course the how we customize the sites themselves. Custom sites, yes. So this is the one we were configuring over here in the uh, readme web jump site. So there you go. So this is a quick little overview of using web jump. I personally am going to find this more useful. I'm going to configure it how I want it. I uh, just copied and pasted some stuff from the defaults to showcase it to you. But that is it. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.